So, I originally wanted to do a video doing, like, a review of Prehistoric Planet, but I was like, I don't know how to review that because that was supposed to be a documentary, and I'm not equipped to review documentaries other than, oh my god, this is really cool, scientifically accurate dinosaurs. And, like, anyone else think that was a little on purpose to put this, like, a few, premiere this a few weeks, uh, like, at least two weeks before Jurassic World Dominion? And, like, we really are getting, like, a lot of dinosaur content in a short amount of time. And I thought that was really cool. So, to have, basically, some cool dinosaur content in here and have, like, some fun dinosaur stuff, I was kind of thinking that, you know, there is a wide variety. And, and rather than do a review or something of Prehistoric Planet, I wanted to do something a little more... Di uh, something a little different from, you know, a typical review or something, and, I, and sometimes I like to stray outside the wheelhouse. So, you're pro so this video is basically talking about with just a few ideas I want to throw out there. There are several hundred species of dinosaurs out that we know of that are tons of fossil records and whatnot, and a lot of them are pretty damn cool, especially the carnivores. And I think we've all played out, I think it's safe to say that we've played out the T-Rex, we've played out the Velociraptor, and I think it's time to move on, like find another kind of dino, like find some new dinosaurs, some new carnivores to really play with. So that's what this video is going to be about, like talking about dinosaurs and how they could work as, um... You're t you know, having a new dinosaur in your movie, like having a new dinosaur in your book or something that could b easily be like a better pick than uh, a T-Rex or a Velociraptor. I thought this would be a fun idea to really play with. I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but it's basically like, let, look at, let's like, if you're ever thinking about doing like a film or like a new, like you're writing a book or something, maybe you look at a different dinosaur other than your typical T-Rex. Yeah, T-Rex is cool. Don't get me wrong. Everyone loves a T-Rex. Everyone loves a T-Rex. It's like I'm doing the goddamn slinky theme. But I thought it'd be kind of cool because there are tons of different dinosaurs out there. And I'm going to try to stay away from your uh, from other well-known carnivores that have been getting a lot of spotlight as of late. So Allosaurus, Carnotaurus, they're going to be out too. They're kind of becoming a lot more mainstream, which not to say that's bad, but I'm just saying like we already know the Carnos and Allos are, and even Spinos are pretty mainstream as well. So I'm going to not include them on this list. But anyway, so let's get started and talk about some other dinosaurs and how they could work. Now, it's safe to say that we have some massive carnivores out in the world, you know, some well known massive carnivores, one being the Giga. Now, as always with movies, we like to see the giant dinosaur eat the little humans and whatnot, but if you're a, if you're a giant, realistically, like, if you're a giant carnivore and you need to pack on some serious calories, there's nothing on modern Earth that you're going to be able to eat that's going to sustain you. You have to eat constantly, so... And also, it's kind of like the running theory that giant, if di giant dinosaurs exist, still existed to this day, they wouldn't, it, like giant predators, like giant theropods, like T-Rex, uh, Giganotosaurus, a lot of those dinosaurs would not find us as prey. Not to say they wouldn't eat us, but they probably would. Reason being, and a lot of people have made this argument too, and I'm going to make, and I'm going to make this point here, is that there would be a president for president for um, large carnivores eating people because it's I kind of equate it to what go, what's going on in Canada and most of the Arctic. What's going on? Polar bears are running out of food. They're they're endangered, and we may see the extinction of polar bears in our lifetime. More than likely, yes. Which really sucks. Fuck you. Uh, fuck you, everybody who uh, helped do that. Fuck you, everyone in the in the oil industry but that's a conversation for another time. So what polar bears basically do is now they've been resorting more and more to man-eating, and that's leading to them to ki be killed by local authorities and hunters and whatnot. So if you were to equate that to a large carnivore, that's even worse. So 
let's talk about some predators who could easily go turn on some humans. Starting off with Baryonyx. Baryonyx? But we saw him in Jurassic World. We, we saw him in Fallen Kingdom. We've seen them in Camp Cretaceous. They're becoming mainstream. Not to the same level. You see, Baryonyx and out everyone else in the Spinosaurid family outside of Spinosaurus himself are more or less still kind of like out there. We mostly become, and it's kind of weird too because they're really cool. Like the spine, uh, the uh, Spinosaurid fam genus is a pretty kick-ass uh, dinosaur. It's a pretty spe cool kick-ass species of dinosaur that is literally a bipedal crocodile. Now, granted, they're not related to crocodiles, but it's what they kind of are. It's kind of what the best way to describe them are like giant bipedal crocodiles that if we were to look at it from... If we were to look at it from the same level of like how we see the Spinosaurus, these things could probably swim and be good swimmers. Um, there is a lot of debate that Spinosaurus and Baryonyx, much like Spinosaurus itself, Suchomimus and yes, yeah, Suchomimus and Baryonyx have possibly the ability to swim. Thanks, uh, just like their cousin Spinosaurus, they were fish eaters, and their bones are structurally hollow enough to allow, you know, or hollow and dense enough to allow them to swim. So you could do, in a book or in a movie, a cool uh, semi-aquatic story, something like Lake Placid, but the thing can get on fucking land and swat at you with these claws um, bigger than your fist and just rip you open in one swipe. And again, you can make the argument that, oh, it's eating people because its main food source isn't enough. Have you seen regular fish like oh yeah you could say oh it could feed on sturgeons oh great that's that's a great idea well w round of applause it can feed on sturgeons you got you know where we can find sturgeons or fish big enough or in large quantity enough to feed a baryonyx oh you don't okay <laughs> um yeah that's the pro that would you know, that's the easy workaround. Is like, I would love to have someone in a movie or book, like, bring up, hey, how about we just feed it this all the time and be like, great, you know where that, where you can get one real quick? So, you could have your Baryonyx or Suchomimus um, feeding on humans and have it be logical. Because now they haven't, they're running out of, of, a food, of their main food source and they have to eat. And humans, much like in real life, when man-eaters feed on them, like tigers, crocodiles, or bears feed on humans, it's because humans are really freaking easy to eat. We are not smart. <laughs> we are, uh, we are ill-equipped to take on basic predators. And you may be saying, oh, we have big brains in gardens. Yeah. Not all of us have guns on us when we're tracking out into the wilderness. And also, I've kind of, I think we've all kind of noticed that not a lot of us have big brains. <laughs> yeah. As for other dinosaurs, I think should get um, should get a, a better look at or like more attention is the better word. What another dinosaur I think that should get um, a little more attention is Jungiosaurus or Shangiosaurus. It's a really hard name to pronounce. It's a it was a apex predator in uh, that came from what is uh, would one day be China. And it's a predator roughly the size of, like, Ceratosaurus, Allosaurus, give or take. It's a predator you could easily see, like, a mid-range, a mid-size a mid range predator that is would be capable of feeding on humans and have it be a somewhat sustainable food source. I would say that Jungiosaurus, I think the thing that kind of bothers people is the name. So, oh, look out, it's the Jungiosaurus. And the reason being is because no one likes to pronounce a big name in, in uh, most movies or books. But I think, like, that would be kind of a fun thing, like, having a movie or story. Like, someone go, it's a ja, ja, Jungiosaurus. That, that's what we were calling it. It's kind of like why people don't like to say Giganotosaurus. They just say Giga, and I'm pretty goddamn sure they're not even going. They're only going to say Giganotosaurus once, and they're just going to call it the Giga for the most part because it's just faster to say. And also, some people, 
some people are going to say, oh, that, that name's stupid. Let's just call it the Giga. Yeah, Giga sounds cool. Or why people don't like to say Carcara Dantasaurus because it's a larger name. It's a bigger name. And people just say Carcar, which is equally stupid, which is like a lot dumber. <laughs> like, I know a lot of people, like, when they're playing, a le like, I watch Let's Plays of, um, uh, like, Evolution, of, uh, Jurassic World Evolution, and people go, oh, it's the car car! And I'm like, just, just call it the car car or the something. Car car just makes you sound like a five-year-old going, car car! Car car! I don't even know what this video is anymore. I, I really, um, I, I don't know what this video is. I am just all over the place. I'm fully recovered from COVID, and my girlfriend broke up with me, so I'm really just kind of all over the place today. So I'm just just trying to do a video to uh, get some, uh, you know, get uh, just try to get my mind off things. So I'm I'm just kind of, I'm sorry if this video is really all over the place. I'm just kind of all over the place myself. I really don't know what I'm doing right now, but I was like, hey, let's see if I can do a video to see if I can, you know, um, if I can do, like, I want to see, like, let's see if I can do a video real quick to see if that helps. And by the, uh, by the sound of my rambling, it probably has not. Anyway, so like I said, I apologize that this video is kind of a mess. I'm real I'm kind of a mess right now myself, so I apologize for that. But you guys tell me in the comments below. Uh, what did you guys think of this video? I know it was all over the place, but what actually, um, what dinosaurs would you like to see get more attention? There's there's the whole plot uh, there's the whole plot of the video I was looking for. <laughs> what dinosaurs do you think deserves more attention in uh, in media? Just comment below, let me know. I might do a remake of this video if, if when I have a m better mindset. As you can tell, I'm a little frazzled right now. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this. If you haven't already, hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon for exclusive videos. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.